How's it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech and the day has finally come. Today, I'm gonna show you the updated method on how to install custom watch faces on your Apple Watch. And I do say updated because finally we have an updated method for watchOS 9 and iOS 16 fully working. And as you can see, this is a Rolex custom watch face for my Apple Watch. And I can install, for example, watch faces from any brand in the world, like Hermes, Casio, Casio G-Shocks, absolutely any brand that you want. And it looks absolutely perfect. As you can see, it's dynamic. So the hands work, the number here of the day, absolutely work like it's stock. And as you can also see, it stays. It stays here on the custom watch face like is the stock watch face on your Apple Watch. So good. If you got even better, this process is super easy and completely 100% free. So without further ado, let me show you how you can do this on your watch. Let's go. So like always, I'm going to do this step by step with you from the beginning. So I have uninstalled everything and I'm gonna do it from the top, okay? The first thing you're gonna need is not the Apple Watch, but your iPhone. So go ahead and grab your iPhone. I almost dropped it. So <laughs> grab your iPhone, go ahead and open up the App Store because naturally we're gonna need to download an app for this. App Store, and then go to the search, and let's search for an app which is called Clockology. There we go, so Clockology. I'm gonna have the name on the screen and direct link in the description to Clockology, which is this app right here. So this is a free application. Of course, I already had it. That's why you see the iCloud icon, but it's on 100% free, okay? So then download it, let it do its thing. It's super fast, as you can see. And then Clockology will be right here on your iPhone. Now make sure that's also downloaded on your Apple Watch. This step is pretty important, okay? So then open up the Watch app, and then on the first screen, okay, this is the main screen of your Apple Watch app, scroll all the way down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling until you see installed on Apple Watch and look for Clockology. In my case, it's not here yet. It was downloading, yep, as we were speaking, it's downloaded. So as you can see right here, installed on Apple Watch Clockology. If it's not downloaded on your Apple Watch, it's gonna be right there at the bottom. So wait for it to load and make sure that it's installed on Apple Watch. So then we're good to go. It's installed on the iPhone and it's installed on the Apple Watch as well. Now, all you have to do is actually open up Clockology and then you can close this first page and then let it load because this first time is gonna take a few seconds to load everything. And here on the app, you have quite a lot of possibilities, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the custom watch faces from famous brands. So you can just go ahead simply right here and install any of those watch faces, which are just random custom watch faces from the Clockology app. But as you can see, those are not brand watch faces. And if you wanna install the Rolex, Casio, Hermes, and all of the other brands, uh, Omega and all, you're gonna need to go to the community tab and this is important, okay? And in order to do that, it's super easy because you don't need to go to a Facebook group or anything like that, like you see on other videos, you can go straight to Telegram. And the Telegram way is the best one because all you have to do is tap here on Telegram. If you don't have Telegram installed on your iPhone, go ahead and download Telegram. You know, Telegram is like WhatsApp, uh, chat conversation uh, application, okay? So then go ahead and download Telegram and install it. And then as you tap on that icon, you're gonna see the Clockology official group, the community right here. And right here, you can already go ahead and install watch faces straight from this group. But before we go ahead and install it, it's super important that we grab the Apple Watch, okay? And open up the Clockology app, just to make sure it syncs up with the iPhone. So open up the Apple Watch, look for Clockology. Whoops, there we go. So Clockology, the app is right here. So open it up, let it do its thing. Uh, if it asks to review access and all, you can review and you can accept all, okay? As you can see, scroll all the way down and tap on done. And then as you can see, it's synced up. So if you see this uh, random, which is actually this stock face right here, it means it's synced up. So it's working, it's fully functional. So then it's synced, 
we can already go ahead and install those faces. So I'm gonna first install anyone from these faces right here. And you may be asking, okay, Daniel, but I don't wanna go ahead and look randomly for watch faces. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you an awesome process. So let me install this Casio G-Shock one, which looks really, really nice. So uh, every time you see a watch face right here on the Clockology official community group on Telegram, you see right there the download button. There we go, this is one. So G-Shock, as you can see right here, and the file, it's well, one megabyte file, super small. So then tap on the icon, and then right here you can share. And as you tap on share, you can tap on the Clockology. It'll open up automatically, you'll see the Clockology right here. If it's not right here, just scroll to the right until you see more, and then make sure that Clockology is here and then you have it, all right? You can tap on it and then it will open automatically, all right? So then, as you can see right there, there we have it, it's open, it's great. And then all you have to do is tap on this icon and then it will automatically upload. So tap uh, on the icon while the Colocology app is opened, let it do its thing. It's gonna take just a few seconds. Sometimes on the first time, it takes a little bit longer for just this first time, okay? I've done this before, so just wait a few seconds. Don't worry, it'll work, okay? So let it do its thing. And then, as you can see, it worked just like that. So if you tap on it and it takes a little bit of time, you can tap on it once again and sometimes it'll say send into Apple Watch failed and you tap on OK and it just will work, okay, just like that. So then you can tap on this button once or twice just to make sure. But as I said, this is just the first sign. And as you can see, this is fully working, the time, the date, everything is fully functional. I absolutely love this one actually from G-Shock and you can keep going. So for example, now that you know the process, you can just go ahead come back to your telegram come back here tap on done and then you get the chat and then from the chat as i said you can go ahead and look for other options this one cycle is awesome as well but the great tip i'm going to give you right now is you go ahead and join the group and now that you have joined the group you can come back and you can search inside the group so then you can go ahead and tap for example for rolex or any brand that you want and you're gonna see specific watch faces from the brands that you want. Using this search, just search directly the group. How cool is that? So then you can scroll down, for example, and I'm gonna show you one that I really like, which is the Coke GMT. I love this one. So then you can scroll up. That's the one I really look how it, I really like how it looks. And then you can do the exact same process. So you can tap on Rolex, share, tap on Clockology. It's gonna export to Clockology, and then right here, while the app is open on the watch, tap on the button, and then wait a few seconds, and it's the exact same process. There you go, perfect. So, as you saw, just in the first time, it takes a few seconds. From the second time on, it doesn't. If for some reason, on the Clockology app, on the iPhone, this icon is grayed out, just exit the app, and then reopen it, and then that'll fix the problem. Oh, and one final tip that's super important, if you want your Apple Watch to be like mine, so if you want the Clockology custom watch face to be always on your Apple Watch and not go back to the original Apple Watch face, like mine, as you can see, it's always there, always on the custom one, it won't go away, you have to actually come to your settings, so go ahead, exit Clockology, Press once again on the digital crown, look for your settings, and then tap on general, and then scroll down a little bit until you see return to clock. So tap on return to clock, and then you need to put after one hour. You need to put this after one hour. So then it'll pretty much never leave Clockology, leaving Clockology as your stock watch face. And then that's it, have fun, play with awesome custom watch faces for free and that's it and i'll see you on the next video as usual bye bye